last season's New Zealand Rowing Championships were held for the first time at Lake Karapiro. And to Lake Karapiro next year will come a hundred oarsmen, trainers and cockthers for the British Empire Games. On the lakeside, 90 miles south of Auckland, a camp is being built to house them for a month. Most of the competitors will live in single bunk huts and their boats will be stored in the completely self-contained camp. Housing the rowers is just another job for the 1950 Empire Games. St Mary's home, Karori, commemorate their 50 years of service by holding a garden party. Guest of honour is Lady Freiburg, who reviews the history of the original home founded by Mrs Frederick Wallace. In the present home, 35 kiddies between the age of 2 and 15 years live happily. It's a bright summer's day and the stalls are busy with people keen to help a worthy cause. There's dancing on the green and fun for all, especially the kiddies. St Mary's Home for Children is a tribute to the interest of many people over the years. A 45-year-old Berenpour landmark, Murphy's Brickyard Chimney, is to make way for a block of pensioners' flats, and an army demolition squad prepares to do the job. Having been adopted for years as a playground by local children, considerable effort is required to shoo them beyond the range of any flying debris. All clear, let her go! From all directions, a host of small invaders converges on the remaining rubble as something obsolete has been forcibly shifted from the path of progress. New ways of housing cover New Zealand's landscape and call for new ways of living. Among these fresh patterns of life, community centres have growing success, and Mr W.C. Gregory, Mayor of Lower Hutt, opens at Nainai a well-planned playground for children and adults. Among new sports being introduced here is paddle tennis, which needs a square bat. Physical welfare instructors demonstrate the games and pitch coits and horseshoes with dexterity. A feature here is the space reserved for children. The idea is that they should come with their parents to play or watch as they wish. A vigorous game of volleyball is some people's way of relaxing. Fully equipped for play by young and old, this ground is first of its kind in the Dominion. Wellington is a city of hills. Houses rise in tiers on the steep slopes, and most of the building sections now available present problems of access, siting and excavation. Students of Wellington's Architectural Centre, to show the public a possible solution to these problems, planned and built a house on a difficult section at Karori. The house has three wings surrounding a courtyard which faces the sun. In one wing are living room, kitchen and combined bathroom and wash house. In the other, three bedrooms. While across the base is a utility room where the children can play and mother can sew. To gain practical experience, students themselves did most of the work on the house, which has a concrete floor and is built of pine. The three walls surrounding the courtyard consist almost entirely of fixed glass panes, ventilation being provided by wooden pivoted panels at floor and ceiling levels. The courtyard is protected by the bank on one side and on the other three sides by the house itself. Visitors during the demonstration period see many novel ideas. The living room chimney is left exposed to give extra warmth to the room, and most of the furniture is built in to save space. There are shelves above the kitchen table and a ventilating fan in the window, and space has been saved in the children's room by building in desk, drawers and two bunks. 
and something that any child would delight in. Each bunk has its own reading lamp. In the main bedroom, there's plenty of wardrobe space, and the dressing table has a lift-up lid with a mirror underneath, and space to keep brushes, scent, and makeup. From the utility room, one steps out into the courtyard. On fine days, an extra room where the family can sit and sun themselves in privacy and shelter. Designed to suit weather, family, and sight, this house is more than just four walls and a roof. It's a place in which anyone would be glad to stay at home.